This is a how-to guide on taxing negative production externalities. So we have car makers here producing at the free market point where supply equals demand. Um, so where MPC equals MPB, they are producing here. We know that they cause negative externalities because of uh, pollution and those type of things. Um, so we need to actually get them as close as we can to the socially optimum point there. If, we, uh, if they really understood how bad their car manufacturing was for society, they'd produce less in the market. Uh, so what we need to do is one way of doing that is taxing. Um, so uh, what we might want to do is tax the um, producer. So that would tax, as remember, are a direct cost to the uh, producer. And so what that would do is that would mean their cost rise if we tax them, if the government tax them. And so their supply line would shift to the left. So the MPC line plus tax would shift inwards because their costs are higher and so the uh, supply line would shift to the left. So what we need to do then is find well, what's now the new free market point with the tax in there as well. Well we go to the um, again free market point is where the private cost equals the private benefit. Well the new private cost line is this one. Um, the old private benefit line is the same. So the new point then is here. So with the tax we actually um, are producing a little bit less and obviously the price has gone up because the tax has been put on there um, and now that is the new price uh, but the next thing we need to do is say well, okay we found the new point um, but actually where is the tax so the tax is actually um, so the tax the government uh, gets from the producers is from the new equilibrium to the old supply line so we go from the new equilibrium here and we go to the old line and that is the actual entire tax that the um, producer have to pay to the government. So then we go from the supply line, we go across and we'll call that PC, the, uh, the cost. Um, so what we've got here is we have the new equilibrium with the tax. We go from the new equilibrium to the old supply line uh, and say well obviously if they're at this quantity level they're producing this amount here, well this is the tax um, because it's just simply their old supply line plus the tax and that's the that's the, the unit tax that you would get and you simply go across the price axes and you say well they are paying uh, the from the new equilibrium they're paying this down here and they're paying this whole amount here but it's crucial to remember that the consumers are paying the price difference so the consumers are paying the price difference from uh, the old equilibrium line to the new equilibrium of what they're actually paying. So the consumers pay this. And the producers, they pay the rest. Producers pay the rest. So what we see here is we have the old equilibrium here where supply equals demand. They put on a tax, so then we push the supply line upwards to get the new equilibrium. The tax is from the new equilibrium to the old supply line because of that quantity level. We go to the supply line plus the tax and then we go across to the price axes to get the new price and where the tax line hits the supply line. And that entire amount there is actually paid to the government. This entire box here is paid to the government but the consumer pays the price difference and the consumer pays the rest to the government. Uh, one thing to note is that of course you could just show the tax on the socially optimum point but in reality you're not going to be able to tax all the way up to the socially optimum point so I always like to just put in an extra tax line there um, because it's a better way to start saying well clearly they can't actually get to that point um, because it's politically probably not uh, able to do so. So just shift the supply line upwards with the tax and show what the entire tax is and who pays what as well. Don't forget that um, we still have a bit of um, deadweight welfare loss. So go from the new equilibrium up to the socially optimum point and we still have a little bit there, a little triangle left of welfare loss. So that's a new welfare loss uh, because it's not fully solved 
the problem isn't fully solved with this little tax. We need to tax all the way up to there for it to be fully solved. So we still have a little bit of welfare loss, which is less than this original huge one we had here. Okay. 